Two sitting for the art of war for business. All right, as you can see right now in my whiteboard, I draw. Alright, hey guys, so this is T Show Albert here, and today in T Show, what I'm gonna share with you is what I call Sun Zi Bing Fa, the art of war for business. Alright, as you can see right now in my whiteboard, I draw tons of things over here. Uh, I draw Sun Zi over here as well. I draw tons of things over here, and this is the thing that I'm gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna share with you this thing that whereby I find it very, very interesting. So, uh, perhaps let me share a little, a little bit about myself. I've been studying. The art of war ever since my secondary school time, so I think the time I was like 14 years old, I got interested in Sun Tzu Bing Fa. I've been studying, so I go through a lot of his whatever strategies come out, like all the 14 or 15 strategy you mentioned. But lately, until I found something very, very interesting, which is what I draw up at my whole whiteboard over here, that whereby I'm going to share with you how Sun Tzu become the best general, people recognize it as best general or the god of war. Or the best strategy in the war, with even though he himself don't have a single war experience before, right? This is how Sun Tzu did. How Sun Tzu was being recognized by the, I mean, one of the kingdoms, and you know, get him into the biggest, uh, I mean, the best strategy, the best general, uh, and and he get well known about his method itself, even though he himself without a single war. And the best part is. He wrote Sun Tzu Bing Father Time, he broke it out and he sent it to the Kingdom of Wara. He's still a guy without any war experience, not a single one. So how do you do that? Let me show you something that he mentioned in the Art of War Sun Tzu, which the first few, first few pages itself, which he didn't mention about the five element. At first I don't even understand what is this five element, but until lately I start to understand what this thing all about. I think part of it because of the experience I'm into internet marketing, I'm into business itself, that's helped me to understand this thing pretty well. Cool. So you mentioned about Tian, okay in Chinese Tian means heaven. Mention about Di, earth, Tao means way, alright? And Fa, Fa means uh, Fa, not Fa, alright? <laughs> fa means method and solutions. And then Jiang means the honor or the leader. I, well, perhaps I call it the recognizations, the belonging, alright? So what is all these five things means? As you can see, I draw it out. So I draw it out as 10 heavens, it's basically like um, you can see there's a daytime, nighttime, nighttime daytimes, there's a raining there, there's a lightning there, frequenting, there's a good day, hot day, whatever is this, all this is what we call the earth. I mean I mean sorry, the, the heavens, but like, what does all this thing mean? Put it this way. If today, I mean in Singapore or in Malaysia, the whole month itself is getting uh, like crazy day, like every day was being raining like crazy. So, well, perhaps you might think also, yeah, raining every day happen, right? Or I will on and off, it does happen. But what if during that time, that heaven, we as a human being who live in earth itself, whatever raining, lightning, all these things, who are the one who actually enjoying all these things? We as a human, right? As I always mention, business is about people. If your business is not about people today, go and fuck it off yourself, right? Cool. So that, so you understand this is how we feel. Same thing apply to the earth itself, the D itself, right? So the thing you got to understand, like who is the guy who living in all this environment? You can see I draw mountain, jungle, river, sea, with fish, or kind of thing. So Tian, you do heaven and earth. Who are the one who living in all these things? And what kind of situation, what kind of problem, what kind of environment we are living in the day? So this is what Sun Tzu study during that time, which what we call the Chun Chu Sudai. So basically he study and he understand that that time the war, all kind of environments, this is what I call the earth and the heaven is what we call the environment. So once he understand the environment, so that's where he start to have idea. He, he have a solution to solve all this, the, I mean the environment that people are facing. So but the funny thing is, if today you got a formula, it's just like what Bill Gates had mentioned. When you are poor, no matter what, how right is your formula, how right is strategy or whatever people just thought that you are just a nonsense guy they don't even give a damn shit to you but when you are fucking freaking rich the time I mean this is by Bill Gates, not by me you say that's a shit people will believe that's a shit you say this guy is a fucker people will believe this guy is a fucker I mean that's the real world right people <laughs> it's always about that I mean sad thing to say that so what Sun Tzu did is so no one know who am I who the fuck is Sun Tzu right correct right? 
So, so the start to think, in order for him to tell people about his ideas, his solutions, his method, no one is going to believe him. So what he did is, he understand about this thing, what I call the Tao, which is this way, the way. So what do I mean by this in business term? So it can be a way of book. Uh, this is the bird, basically, you know, long time ago during war time, they have uh, this, this bird pigeon, I think they call it pigeon, to send the letter over. Uh, of course, now then we've got TV, we've got laptop, internet, we've got new letter, email, of course, we've got radio. All this is what we call channel, Tao, means way. So if today put it this way, I give you a very very good example right there, right now, alright? So if today you have a good solution, right? Uh, if let's say you're gonna tell your mom, the, trust me, the first thing your mom will tell you, please go back and sleep, please go back and study, please don't think too much, you I think you're overstressed kind of thing, right? This is what your mom or your girlfriend or your father gonna tell you. So in order for him to go and tell people, why not? He wrote a book, which is what lately he called it the Sun Zi Bing Fa. Have you ever wondering why he wrote a book? Because the time during the Chun Chiu Sudai, people are believing in book. People believe in book, right? So you see, it's, it's put it this way, I'll give you another good example. If tomorrow, you spend a $5,000 to advertise yourself and put it on a newspaper, and someone see you on the newspaper, you see the trust level is totally different. But of course, that's a long time ago. Uh, now, the newspaper still work, but it's not work. So this is what we call the, 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 the people Recognization people used to believe in what kind of channel like why our father and mom is still believes in newspaper even though we as a new generation nowadays we know that newspaper is no longer news it's old news even Facebook is faster than newspaper cool all right so you gotta understand what way you gonna channel out what channel out, channel out your solution your way your methods all right so so as you can see this is far solution method. Uh, as you can see, I can draw it out. Like, if today you figure out something like one plus one equal to, for example, or one bigger two is equal how much, or perhaps in the societies, or you got a you got a good idea of like what kind of solution. This is the way. Trust me, your solution, no matter how hard you pitch to anyone, you need a channel. Without a way, without a good channel, without a way of people believing. Trust me, your this whole fucking thing. It's going to damage shit, right? So to put it this way, whoever come and approach me, tell me you got a big idea like Uber, like Grab Car, or like tuition, tuition, uh, create a website like tuition, grab people here, and grab students here. I say, fuck you, what kind of channel are you using? If not, go home and fuck yourself, all right? So the last one, the last one, which is the most, most interesting. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty right now. Uh, it's what I call Jiang. Honor, leader, or recognition. Recognition of who? The ownership. So put it this way, if today Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu itself, he have a good solution to tell people, oh, this is my solution, this is my way, this is how I'm gonna fight, this is how I'm gonna kill my enemy. Trust me, after a few years, people will start to copy him. All right, people, if he don't name the book called Sun Tzu Bing Fa, people will just take his method and boom, uh, you bump it into another book. Like, same method, same everything, copycat, but they name it and in their own name itself. So that's why Sun Tzu Bing Fa is Sun Tzu itself is a genius guy, I will say that, because he's not just using a book as a channel, I mean, uh, uh, the Tao itself. He has his good solution, but he also thinks that solution, anyone learn it, they can copy away. But what if he will be the first one who name it Sun Tzu Bing Fa? That's what I call branding. So if today someone would still ask me, hey, is it personal branding is very important? Why should we brand ourselves instead of branding, not, not my, branding my company? Let me put it this way. All right. If you brand your company, one day, I mean, I mean, touch wood, one day if you sell off your company, no one is gonna know who the fuck you are, right? If you brand your company, people will only remember what's your company. So if you're gonna start a new business, trust me, you are gonna have a lot of difficulty to go through the trust level, the recognition level again. So, but today if you brand yourself, people know, oh, Albert T is the founder of this, Albert T created this, this, that, and that. So when I say I saw off this business, I'm gonna start another business, trust me, a lot of people follow me, and that's why I say you gotta brand yourself. And this is what I share about the Sun Tzu Bing Fa for business. So if you understand this thing, good luck to you. But if you don't, you know, do connect with me anytime or share more with you with the real strategy that I've been structured for all my business stuff. So see you later. Love you.